There's an emptiness I feel deep inside Lord, I need you Show up now Yeah, bless and good afternoon. Show up now. That's it. Uh, we want to welcome you to our afternoon broadcast. And uh, I'd like to share with you, we're going to be streaming you uh, uh, a Christian African movie, Stranger in Your Home. So get ready and get yourself ready. Show up now. Uh, it's time now to we'll move to our, our broadcast. Yeah. Thank you very much. And for you have a great afternoon every time you watch this movie. Yeah, teach you. And let go down his way. I don't want to see her again. Ah, yeah. You just have to calm down. I'm saying, please, please. Eda Kolapo. Eda I respect you and your wife a lot. Yes, but you must respect God. Yes. And the servant that sent us here by allowing her to come in. Eh? Yes. Please, let her in. Please, please, please. I beg you.
But, dear, how can a woman do such a thing to her own husband? She was very sorry for her actions. Uh, I think the devil just want to play on her emotions. Mm. I won't believe it. She said her mother advised her to do it. What? Her mother? Yeah. Uh -uh. What a terrible mother. How can a mother advise her own daughter to do such a thing? Knowing fully whether this man will still be aware of it. Ah! That woman is wicked. Mm. She, she only wants to break the home of her daughter. And sister, you need to be very, very careful of her. Yes, yes, ah, yes, yes. But what would they do with the house now? Look, my dear, is the table ready? Mm. I'm hungry. Yes. I'm just trying to set the table. John? Yes, Mom. Bring the steel. Ah. Okay, is John in this house? Yes, he's around. What has he come to do again? <laughs> Nothing. Just to check on us. Hey, Your mom said you are here to tell us again. I have prayed for this weekend. So I just felt I should come and check on you people. <laughs> on we people? Yes, sir. But you are here two weeks ago. Did you inform your sister that she will be coming this weekend? Yes. Well, she can't come. She has an um, administration. Uh, and why can't you follow up for the administration? I'm not in the drama group. Which group are you in the school? Uh, I'm still thinking, sir. Okay, no wonder. That's why you have all the time to come and check on we people. Look, you must go back to that school tomorrow. Ha, you have been on that campus for almost a year now. And you are still thinking of the group to join. Ha, look, you must go back to that school tomorrow. And find a group to, to join. You must belong to one. Ah, thank you, sir. I'll, I'll try, sir. I'll try to do it. That's my boy. Thank you. Hey, hey, here it is. You are in the roots. You are in it. Strong and hiding. You should not be hiding. If not, the devil will capitalize on that and fill your heart with nonsense. I mean, university is not a place where you have your degree alone. It's a place for you to discover your ministry. What God wants you to do for Him. You must use your time, your talent to win soul for Christ. Just like uh, Daniel and his friends in the University of Babylon. They discover their talent and they use it to affect their generation. Hmm? That is what you have to do while others are eating and drinking in the table of the king while they await their destiny. For some time now, my mind has been going towards the evangelical team, but I need to be very sure. Hmm. And that's the more reason why I need to join you in prayer before you leave. And let me assure you, by tomorrow, you'll be very sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. That's my bond. <laughs> Are you true with your son? I thought you said you were wrong. I need to talk sense to the end of that world. Yeah. Hmm? You should leave my wife alone. <laughs> you should leave my wife alone for me to enjoy. Ah. Let's ask him. Hey! Jealousy! So you are jealous of my son? Huh? Eh? 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 Jealous of what belongs to me. Ah. Yes, your son is jealous of me. Hey, you better pray for him to have a good woman like you as mm. wife. Yeah, my son is still a young man, no? Uh, <laughs> see, Dandy. <laughs> you better start your prayer now. <laughs> okay, okay. Ma, that is good. Yes. You've not answered my question. Question? Yes. What question was that? What will happen to the house? Ah, which house? The house that sister your built, of course. Since they are living in a rented apartment. Hmm. You see, the most important thing is for the two of them to be in one accord. Mm. Which the Lord has done this afternoon. Mm. The rest of that God will take mm. care of. It is true. It is true. Thank God. Thank God. Look, is the table set? Yes.
Hello, Mr. Day. Please come. This on my table. It's me, sir. What for? Um, one of the coppers brought it to the office to sell. And they are so nice, not so expensive, or straight the price in the market. So most of the staff bought for me and we just collected this for you. It's so cheap and they are nice and shapes. If you don't like the color, we can easily change it. And um, what is the cost price? They are nice shirts and uh, designer ones. I'm not collecting any money from you, sir. Why? How much is your salary? And besides, these are expensive shirts. Well, I've already paid for the price, and besides, I can't collect money from you, sir. Why? You have done more than that for us in this office, sir. In fact, most of the staff suggested we should you know, keep it for you because some of the senior staff also bought. And we thank God, we thank God. But what's so special with what I have done? Uh, your concern and love for the junior workers is very unique, sir. You know, you are not like some senior staff here. You are so humble and friendly. We really appreciate you, sir. Why? We thank God for the grace. Uh, that's why I keep on telling you that you need to give your life to Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm happy for the gifts, but I'll be happier if you surrender your life to Jesus. I've given my life to Jesus, sir. The only problem in my life now is my husband. How do you mean? We do respect, sir. I want to surrender now. Why do you ask? I know you have two children and you are so satisfied with the wife God gave you. You have never for once seen you running after women like so many in this office. Well, it is just by the grace of God and we thank God for that. Sir, I have five children for my husband. Mm. Five good children. Mm. But he is so engrossed with me. If he marries one and bring her home, I would have complained. I mean, at least I would know my rival. But most of these women are older than him. And this thing is really affecting our children terribly. Hmm. Mr. Sayyid, I am what I am today because of Christ. No human being has the ability to live right. Except Christ in him. That's why I keep on telling you to give your life to Jesus. You have not accepted Jesus into your life. He is not yet your Lord. Yes, come in. Ah, my sister. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I hope you enjoyed the service yesterday. Sir, I really enjoyed the program. Thank you very much, sir. I've been seeing the wonders of God since I gave my life to Jesus Christ. But I need your prayer, sir. And uh, what's the prayer point? Ah. It's for my husband. He drinks there and he still goes around with body friends to parties. I've tried to make him to understand the implication of all this, but he will not be the same. Ah, uh, Stayan, keep your salmon to yourself. Your husband doesn't need your salmon. Uh, what do you mean, sir? I'm not happy about it. First Peter chapter 3 verse 1 says, Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your husbands. That if any obey not the word, that they also, without the word, may be won through the conversation of the wives. Your husband does not need your preaching. What he needs is the life of Christ in you. Keep being a virtuous woman. Love your husband and make him comfortable and happy at home, then you will see God work for you. The Lord will help me, sir. You are welcome. God bless you. <laughs> sir, what 
difference will it make if I give my life to Jesus? Ha. A lot, Mrs. Adi. Eh? Apart from the fact that your future is secured, that is, you will reign eternally with him, the Holy Spirit will build you and enable you to build your home. Your husband will be restored back to you. Which home? Which husband? The man that has no duration in life. What can I do to help him? You can help him with your prayer. Pray on his behalf. You will call upon the name of the Lord on his behalf. And the Lord will work out his salvation and make change him completely. It sounds so good. But I'm not prepared for that tomorrow. Now. I'm okay. I'm okay as I am. I'm not even missing him. Besides, I have friends who are filling the gap for me. Like my friends? No. They are women like me. Association? Something like that. <laughs> Mrs. Adi, why can't you bring your problem and burden to Jesus? All these women, they can't help you. They will only compound your problem and harden your heart into sin. You see, you need to forgive your husband and believe God for his salvation. But first of all, you need to give your life to Jesus Christ. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, but why can't you decide now so that I can join you? I mean, I can pray with you. I will definitely do something about this, sir. Mrs. Adi, why do you keep on postponing your salvation? Remember, I preached to you and say the same day. She gave her life to Christ and she's changed now. Why can't you answer the call of your maker? Tomorrow may be very late. I promise to do something about this. I will do something about this. Very soon. Oh, anyway, thanks for the gift. You're welcome, sir. I'm happy to have both of you here. And I pray God will uphold your home in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Concerning the question you asked the other time, I told you I would want both of you sit here before we discuss it. I also asked you to go and pray about it. Have you prayed? Uh, thank you, sir. We are really, really very grateful. We actually prayed. I mean, myself. And my wife and um, I prayed on it personally. Daddy, I know I have made mistakes in the past mm. and I have hurt my husband so much. But I thank God for the kind of husband he has given me. I thank God for giving him a heart of forgiveness. Mm. Thank, thank you, my husband. My pleasure. Sir, I have made up my mind to give all the documents of the house to my husband. Mm. Yes, sir. I see it as a provision for the family. And whatever decision he decides to take on it, I'm okay with it. Hmm. Brother Peter, you heard your wife. What are you going to do about the house? Or what is the Lord leading you to do? The ball is now in your court. Um, God told me that to see the house as his provision, to not mind me who built it. Because before him, 
we are one. So I have accepted the house as God's provision. Mm -hmm. um, the house has two flats. So we have decided to move it to one and then rent out the other one. Mm -hmm. Sister, is that, is that okay by you? Yes, sir. I'm okay. In fact, I am very happy. Um, we will be staying long in the house because God is planning to build a family house for us. Yes. <laughs> and we will write out the two flats. God will grant your heart's desires in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm so happy that you humble yourself to hear the Lord and to obey his instruction. God will honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, Last That's no problem. So, where did they ask me to sign? Okay. Listen, listen. Where this flower here? Ah, it's me, sir. Oh, you don't like it. Oh, it's nice. Very beautiful. Beautiful. I noticed your office looks so good, so I brought it from home to lighten it up. Beautiful. Thank you. Hmm. How can a woman look so beautiful after her five children? This is amazing. I'm only doing my job, you don't need to thank me, sir. <laughs> Hello? Oh, sorry. Uh, you can go, no problem. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Sadie? Is it true that you have five children? <laughs> Why do you ask that question, sir? <sighs> you see, well, I don't know what your husband is looking for in our other man. You are a beautiful woman. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Many people don't seem to believe any type of but I think it is the grace of God upon my life. So I'm giving away a good stature. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have a good stature. And you maintain it. Please keep it up. Thank you, sir. I don't know why some women, after having three, two, some even one, they look so old, older than their age. What do you think can be the cause? Well, it's a matter of the heart and determination. Right from the beginning, I'm determined to always look beautiful, sir. Hmm. And you look beautiful. Yes. Thank you, sir. Keep it up. She's a very beautiful woman. I can't just imagine what our husband is looking for in another woman. Our life would have been better if the man is around her. This man needs spiritual help. Yeah. What's wrong with you? What kind of 
evil thought is this? What type of strange thought is this? I rebook you, spirit of lust, in Jesus' name. What type of suggestive communication am I having with another woman? Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When your household is a temple, a dwelling place for the Almighty, you have to be a praying father and a very, very watchful mother. Because the devil is a stranger, ever searching for a chance to get in. But not to worry, it is not by your power, but by the spirit the Lord. What is wrong with this woman nowadays? Always sleeping. Dear? Dear? Dear, wake up. What is the matter? What's the problem? You are looking so outdoors. Don, you are back. I don't even know when I slept off. You're welcome. Thank you. You look so you look so mild. What's the problem? Yes. Um, I'm just feeling weak and very tired nowadays. I even vomited twice yesterday night. Eh? You vomited? Yes. Ah. You need to see the doctor immediately. I'll try and do so. Be the problem of vomiting. Ah, you're welcome. Mm. Ah. Yeah? What are you thinking? Dear. Please talk to me. Talk to me, please. I can't really say this is what is wrong with me. But. Mm. But. It seems. Um, I'm just. I'm just feeling as if. As if I'm. I'm, I'm pregnant. Eh? Pre? No. You can't be pregnant. Uh. It can't be. You can't be pregnant. Uh. How can you be pregnant? Uh. Why did you say that? I told you to do everything possible not to be pregnant. But I tried my best and it happened. So what is my fault then now? Uh, whose fault? Whose fault? I told you to go to a doctor for proper family planning and you have to tell you you are pregnant. No, you can't be pregnant. Can't be serious. But I did. I did all I could. But it eventually happened. The, are you not saying and the one to be blamed? Is it my fault now? But anything can happen between husband and wife. Just listen to yourself. Can you listen to yourself? Anything can happen between husband and wife. In this modern age, you are just talking like an illiterate. Me? When women of vision and understanding are packaging themselves for greater exploits, all you think of is babies. God save me. What have I done wrong now? What is the problem? What is the you problem? are the problem. Me? You are the problem. Wait. We are going to have two children. Our last baby is in the university. 16 years old, part one student in the university. Don't you think it will be risky for you to be having another baby now? And you are not getting younger. I'm not even saying need categorically that I'm pregnant. I only said I feel as if I'm pregnant. Well, anyway, I'm not concerned. You are the one that will carry the body. Hmm? You are the one that will carry the body. I know of some women that are having the grace to have many children. But you are not one of them. Ah! Hey, God! 
I can't believe you are saying all this to me. Eh? Well, I'm sorry if what I've said, uh, I mean, it's not good enough. But you need to see a doctor immediately to confirm this thing. Eh? I'm not ready to sleep now. If I'm ready, I will come in and sleep. Are you still angry with me? For what? Over what we discussed in the afternoon. I was angry before, but not anymore. Since you are not even sure, I'm not just ready to sleep. Okay then, let's go to bed and come back. Will you leave me? I'm not ready for anything now. Then why are you behaving like this? Eh? What is wrong now? What all this? Nothing. I just feel I should stay clear away from you until we know I mean where we are going next. You mean you won't touch me again because of what I said? But I thought you said that to me that you are sick. So why all this demand now? And is that the reason why you need to vacate the room? What type of language is that? Hi, vacating my room. No, I just want to stay clear until we are sure who's uh, what it is. Yeah. Oh dear, uh uh. Why are you dragging this issue like this? Eh? Why now? You know I'm the one that's supposed to be hungry with the way you talk to me in the afternoon. But I, I don't desire not to give room for the devil. <laughs> Where is the devil in this? Where is the place of the devil in this? Okay, let's go to bed. To do what? You better go and sleep. Because I'm not ready for anything now. Okay. See who spot it is. If touching you has become a problem, I will restrain myself from you. 
I can do it. I can decide to stay away from any sexual intimacy until you learn your lesson. That should be my business. Why are you talking like this? You told me you see the doctor today. Did you confirm that you are pregnant? And what if I'm pregnant? Eh? What if I'm pregnant? What are you going to do about it? What, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Yemi, what did the doctor say? None of your business. Baby, you are working out on me? I'm asking you a question, you are working out on me? I think we need to talk. Any problem? I had a terrible dream. And what concerns me about it? Why are you talking like this? You're asking me a question. You are still annoyed with me? I'm only concerned about you. Mm. Yeah, you're so selfish. You're so selfish. You're just, you're just full of yourself. Everything about you is self, self, self. Without considering the feelings of others. If you are concerned about me as you claimed, would you have handled that case like that? I thought you have solved so many problems in other people's home. How come you can't even undo your home? And I think you should know better. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Hmm? I don't know what came over me. Even though I was not expecting it. But I shouldn't have behaved that way. Hmm? Please forgive me. Hmm? You see, this dream, it has a lot to do about you. And I'm so worried. About me? Yes. Okay, I'm listening. In the dream,
Who are you looking for? Actually, I'm not looking for anybody. I'm here on a mission. Ah, on a mission? In my house? Which mission? I live here with my wife. My children are in the school. Are you sure you live here with your wife? Ah. Because when I came in, I didn't see anybody. No. Ha. I left my wife in the house. Let me call her out. Ah. What's happening? I can't find my wife in the house. But I left her in this house. Please, who opened the door for you? I have told you. When I came into this house, I didn't see anybody. I just saw the door open and I entered. Okay, okay. That's alright, that's alright. That's alright. Uh, you can take your leave now. Hmm? I said get out of my house! Ah! It is not possible for me to leave now. Ah. I have told you. I'm here on a mission. And I will not leave until I've completed my mission. I told you, I'm here on a mission. What? Hey, that is not a good dream, oh. Yeah? You see? Stranger in a house. Mm. And I was nowhere to be found. Mm. Ah. Yeah, we, we need to pray about it. Yes. We need to pray because, I mean, it really scared me. Especially when I remember the pregnancy. Oh! Diaba! Uh -uh. What has this got to do with the pregnancy again? Eh? Oh! Ha! What are you saying? I entered our house. I met a stranger. Mm -hmm. He said he has come for a mission. Mm -hmm. I searched everywhere. And you are nowhere to be found. In your own house. Uh -uh. I mean, does that make any meaning? Hey! Ah! I shall not be found wanting in my own house in Jesus' name, Mo. Hey, man, you are now talking. Mm. Eh? You are now saying what I'm saying. I think we need to pray mm. so that this pregnancy will not resort to death. Mm. Dear, <laughs> you better throw away your fear. Eh? <laughs> the covenant of God for us is not like that. Remember, the Bible says, we shall not die, but live to declare the works of God. Mm. Remember, the Lord has spoken through our pastor that he has anointed us as his instruments to rescue and deliver families and homes. Therefore, we still have a lot of work to do. And besides, I'm not pregnant. Eh? <laughs> How do you mean? The doctor said it was just a symptom of malaria. And uh, he has treated me and gave me some medicine. Praise God! <laughs> But all the same day, we still need to pray. Mm. We need to pray very well against every devices and plans of the wicked ones against our home. It must not stand. Yes, we need to pray so that God will shut all our doors against every evil stranger that might want to come Amen. and do us harm in this house in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we pray? Yes. Father, we just thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hello, Good afternoon, sir. How was your journey and administration? I'm sorry I couldn't make it. Oh, not to bother. The administration was powerful. The Lord moved tremendously. In fact, all glory to Him. 
I'm sorry, sir, that I could not make the journey. Ah, don't worry, Prokolapo. Uh, there are still more works to do for the Lord. Uh, how is my sister? She's fine, sir. She's resting because she's been treated for malaria and she's very weak. Oh, oh my regards to her. But don't disturb her. Please, uh, allow her to rest. <laughs> I understand, sir. I, I promise to be gentle. Uh, thank you very much, Bakolapo. I'll meet you at the DK's meeting tomorrow after service. Okay, sir. Bye. Oh, thank God I remember. Uh, Bakolapo, the Lord laid something in my heart today. What was it, sir? The Lord says you should be careful and watchful about strangers. <sighs> Does that make any meaning to you? Brokolapo, according to the word of God, it is good to allow strangers in our house. But you should be careful about the strangers that you allow in. Is that okay? Ha, sir, this is a great confirmation of the dream I had. And we prayed on it this morning. Oh, we thank God today. <laughs> it is just a way for you to be alert and to pray more. It is well. Uh, bye, sir. Thanks. Greet my sister. We talk later. You can't be taking drugs without taking food. I wish to, but I don't have appetite. Yes, I know. But you will force yourself to take it, eh? Huh? That reminds me. Can you believe what the pastor told me on phone today? What was that? This God is great. It was the confirmation of the dream I had. Mm. The pastor said he received from the Lord that we should not open our door to stranger. Ah. Oh. Hey. What is the problem now? Oh. We need to be very careful. Hmm. Oh. Look, I think this goes beyond strangers alone. Because somebody you know might have thought to be a stranger. So what are you suggesting? I think we should close our door to any visitor mm. for now until we are relieved from the spirit. Oni, I think this matter is more spiritual. Why can't we go into prayer as our pastor suggested? Eh? We only need God to keep us. We can't keep ourselves home. I think what we are going to do is this. Mm. We will not allow any visitors or stranger to sleep or stay in this house for now, period. Okay. The Lord will help us. Amen. But you just have to take this, you know. At least take some. You just have to take some. Okay. Eh? Try. Try. Oh, eh? so try, please. Ah, Yes, sir. Mm. For what? My elder sister is celebrating her 50th birthday and I'm inviting you. He's coming Saturday? Yes. Mm. And my wife will not be able to come. The women are having a very special program at the church this weekend. Mm? Uh, no problem, sir. You can come alone. I, 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 other stars are also coming. Okay. Uh, we only need to remind me before the day. No problem, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good day.
strong feelings within me that you have to surrender your life to Jesus now. Enough of giving you the most of life. Satan hates you. He doesn't wish you well. You know what? You cannot expect God to be on your side mm -hmm. and you not continue giving you forgiveness. All those women you are playing around with, mm -hmm. they will not help. Rather, they will compound your problem. Mrs. Ade. Mrs. Ade. Mm -hmm. I heard you talking to Mr. Kolako about your husband the other day. Yes. The problem you are facing with him. So why don't you settle your own problem before Pope moves it into another person's problem? Mrs. Ade, mm -hmm. the Lord has settled me already. Mm. Because I've learned to cast my body on him. Mm -hmm. And I know he's mm -hmm. ready to do your own too. Please excuse me, Madam Preacher. If you don't have any other thing to say, please excuse me. This well. Ah, What's going mama. on? <laughs> Don't mind that. Mm -hmm. uh, you are welcome. Uh, is that the way to welcome mama? Please don't uh, mind that. What did I say now? <laughs> How is my daddy at home? Everybody is fine. No wala. Yes, we are all fine. She only has malaria and she's receiving treatment already. Malaria. She, her malaria is always very serious. She doesn't normally have malaria, mm. but when she does, it's always very serious. We well, don't know that it was malaria until when she saw the doctor. Mm. <laughs> and I think she's better now. 
Yeah, Mama. How are you feeling now? Mama? Mm. I hope there's no problem. No problem, oh, no problem. You are wondering why the sudden visit. Yes, ma. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no problem, no wahala. It's just that my friend, you remember her now? That my friend. Uh, yes. That one that gave us that big Okay, yes, yes, yes. She's I the one. The brother's son is getting married. Okay. Now, so now when <laughs> we now when when they invited me, I can't sleep in their house when I have a house here now. <laughs> so I told them I'll sleep here and then join them tomorrow. Share no problem. No, we we have a vigil to attend today in the church. And uh, I mean and as you know, there's nobody at home. All the children they are in school. And I know that you will not be able to sleep alone in the house. No, Wahala. There's no problem. Mm -hmm. I will just eat. Maybe I finish eating. I'll call her to send her driver to come pick me. No, no, Wahala. Okay. Nice. Let Thank me prepare something for you. Then mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I will be the one to prepare our mass food. Eh? <laughs> Mama, you. do you want to swallow or? This man, <laughs> this boy. Yeah, a very lucky wife. <laughs> I always tell my friends that he's the best cook in town. Oh, thank you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that, man. Ah, Mama, we do. Oh, ah, Mama. 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 Okay, Mama. Mama Just give me 10 minutes. It's okay. eh? The food will be ready. <laughs> You're welcome, Mama. <laughs> now you Mama. like Amala very well, <laughs> like my mom. Ah. Hey, I'm glad to see you. When you decided to marry your Mama, why well, won't I like ah. <laughs> Enjoy the meal. Ah, the food was delicious. Yeah. You know he can cook now. That was very delicious. <laughs> that was very delicious. Oh, we thank God, so ma. Delicious. Thank God, ma. I'll be back after one month yeah. to spend a whole week. <laughs> Will Daddy release you for a whole week? Yeah. Yeah. Seven days. He will, Seven learn, days. He will learn, learn to release me. <laughs> after all, we have house help in the house. <laughs> so, house help will be cooking for Yes, then we have to cook oh. for him. Because you need help from your mother. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very good. I will be back. I will be back. I will be back. I will be back. Why are you cold? But why did you have to do that? Why? Do what? What have I done wrong? God have mercy. So you've not seen anything wrong in what you have done? Like what? Hey! Dear, something is wrong with your spirit man. You now tell lies freely without any prick in your heart from the Holy Spirit. And you are still so comfortable with it. What do you mean? What exactly do you mean? Okay, do you have any vigils to attend tonight? Uh, that one is wisdom. Hey. How, how do we explain to Mama all what we are passing through? And remember the instruction uh, of God that we should not allow any stranger in the home. So, my mother is now a stranger, right? My mother is now a stranger in my whole house, right? Look, my dear, anybody can be a stranger in the situation that we are here now. Mm -hmm. And we must abide by God's instruction. Mm -hmm. And at the same time committing sin. Eh? Can God contradict himself? Ask me. Can God contradict himself? You better pray for forgiveness of sins. Ah, it depends on how you see it. Oh. My dear, I have not committed any sin. Mm -hmm. huh? What sin is there? Look, King David in the Bible told lies eh? to save himself from the hands of the enemy. And God does not condemn him. Hey. Hey. Honey, you are speaking from the whole testament. You better check your New Testament and know the stand of God against lies. Are you now dividing the Bible into two? You are dividing the Bible into two? Hey. I'm not dividing the word of God. I'm just trying to remind you of Ananias and Sapphira that lied before Peter. They both died on the same day. A sudden death for that matter. Okay. Oh. 
God will forgive all of us. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon, Mr. Ayeri. I have a testimony to share with you, sir. Ah, please read on. I'm eager to hear that. Sir, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and everything God has been doing in my home. Even now, my husband is more committed to the Lord. Wow. Please Amen. tell me more. Sir, the word of the Lord is perfect. I've stopped complaining. I've stopped castigating him. I've stopped getting angry at him. Whenever he went out with his worldly friends, I will wait. For him, mm. I'll welcome him, mm. and I will not lead him to my dining table, you know, full of delicious meat, which I've soaked with prayers. Wow, you mean you soak the meat of your husband with prayers? <laughs> yes, sir. The Holy Spirit gave me the secret <laughs> when I was in the world, sir. Those worldly women. They will charm the food of their victims. Even some of them don't even use physical charm. They will just talk to the food and say some incantations. Jack Robinson, they're falling as victims. <laughs> that is interesting. That's wisdom. There's an emptiness I feel deep inside. Lord, Show up now Situations on every side Can't find my way up Show up now Can't wait another day Can't wait another Gave me that secret along with the scripture you gave me in the book of first Peter chapter 3 verse 1 that we women should submit ourselves unto our husband. Sir, I really thank God for your life and I thank God for what God is doing in my life. Praise God. God. That is that God. is just I um, mean the, the, the prophet of obedience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate you. We thank God. God will reward you, sir. Amen, you. amen, amen. Sir, before I go, sir. Would you mind if I should share something with you, sir? Go ahead, say anything you want to say. Thank you, sir. Sir, I want you to be very careful with Mrs. Ade so that she will not misinterpret the love you have for every one of us. You know, she has not yet given her life to Jesus. Mrs. Ayer, 
Simply because Mrs. Sade has not given her life to Christ does not mean that we should neglect her. In fact, that is the more reason we must show her the love of Christ. We are more closer to her, we can't just neglect her. Yes, sir. But I still want to be very careful with her. You see, God has given you a glorious home. And I don't want you to take your wife for granted, sir. Ah. Why do you have to conclude so fast, Mrs. Sayene? Ah. Ah. What is all this? This woman is my secretary. And I can't possibly tell her to stop coming to my office. Ah. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm very sorry. If my observation is wrong, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry. I know you are still young, you feel. I mean, we can't just neglect her like that. We need to be close to her, show her the love of Christ until she changed to turn her life to Jesus Christ. Okay, sir. I will, I will continue to show her love, sir. I'm very sorry if my that's, observation is wrong. That's alright. I'm that's sorry, right. sir. That's alright. Is higher than cancer. Is higher than heartbreak. Is higher than any disease. Just speak in tongues if you know how to speak in tongues. Salaba do koba shata ba 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 kete boska re te bo bo bos re ma ba 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 shata ba gozo tokoya ha 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 get ready to be blessed.
and his name does victory. His name is powerful. The name of
fait tomber Oh, oh ta pluie Qu'elle envahisse Marie Nous sommes dans ta présence Fais tomber Oh, oh ta pluie Qu'elle envahisse nous sommes dans ta présence, fais tomber, oh, ta pluie, qu'elle envahisse ma vie. Nous sommes dans ta présence, fais tomber, oh, ta pluie, qu'elle envahisse Tes églises en abondance, fais tomber ta pluie. Papa, ouvre tes églises en abondance, fais tomber ta pluie sur ma vie. Don't be 